Good morning, YouTube family. So, I already told y'all the boys are out of school until the 18th. And today is technically their last day before Christmas break. But then, the cherry on top is that they sent a text out last night at like 8 o'clock. It was like, oh, and just a reminder that tomorrow is a half day, so children need to be picked up by 11.35. So at first I was thinking like, do I even wanna take them to school because it's pointless for them to just go for four hours and then I have to turn around and come pick them up again, but oh goodness, I just decided to bring them because at least I get four hours to get some stuff accomplished before I have to go pick them up and then they come back and then they're home for an entire month. I feel like this year, all the kids should just get a pass. Everybody should graduate. Nobody should get left behind or have to skip a grade. Like nothing, like not skip a grade, but repeat a grade, like none of that. Like they've been out of school more than they've been in school. So you should just pass everybody. Like they send home homework, but then they don't want the homework to be sent back because Corona can live on the papers. So how are you evaluating the kids? Like at this point, everybody gets a pass. Everybody's moving on. Yes, we are. But the art teacher named Mr. I. He told, he told us to bring back to our home. Oh, well, Mr. I is special because the other teachers want you to leave it at home. And then we like looked up the calendar for all of their little breaks and vacations. Every vacation that come is coming up, they get a week off. November, week off. President's Day, a week off. Like, it's called President's Day day why do they get a week for a day yo this school is, is something else like it is truly something else all right boys who's super smart who's a leader never a follower who can be anything he wants to be do anything he tries to do who's going to change the world yeah you are no i just don't understand your school but have a great day I have no idea. Hey, Theo, go, baby. Like, you take your sweet time. Like, you got all day. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye bye. Jesus, fix it. Now that the boys are in school. Well, we can't even really call it school because I know that they're not doing anything today. Probably watching a few movies, running around the classroom, listening to Christmas music. Just not doing much at all. But whatever. I got four hours. So I'm going to try to wrap some of these presents. Well, all the ones that are from me, I'm going to wrap them and sit them underneath the tree. I don't know what Thomas's situation is, what he's going to do. He got the boys um, some electric scooters, but they're in the basement, and I don't know if he's going to wrap those, and honestly, I'm going to leave that to him, to his gift. You do what you do, sir. You stick a bow on it. It's what I advise. That's on him. But let me wrap these gifts. It's no time to waste because four hours will be over sooner than I think. <laughs>
get a break like <laughs> I'm so over so much at this point so I'm wrapping gifts Thomas calls me from work to say oh um one of someone else who works at his job is supposed to be taking leave today but he also forgot that on Saturday he's supposed to be having CQ so the only way the other guy can take leave today is if he finds someone who can cover his CQ for him. So Thomas already volunteered to take the man's CQ for him for him to get extra money. I just, so then he's calling me to ask if I was okay with taking the boys to the hotel by myself. He was like, you know, I know the pool is going to like, you know, just alleviate some stress. Like, does the pool have healing waters? Like, uh, if it doesn't, if it's not like some mystical, magical pool, it's just a pool, my guy. Like, it's, it's a pool. It's not going to do nothing that no other pool in the world would do. It's a pool. <sighs> so basically, mini rant over. He was calling to ask if I was okay with taking the boys to the hotel by myself and him taking the CQ for his little battle buddy. Like, I thought this was supposed to be like a family Christmas getaway. Like, and then to call me to ask me if I was okay with it. Like, you've already volunteered. You've made the decision already. You're just basically calling to inform me. Like, you're not calling... To ask if I'm cool with it, you're calling to inform me that this decision has already been made. I'm just, I'm over it, y'all. I'm so over it. Like, this is not the Christmas season. Like, this is not the spirit that I'm supposed to have for the Christmas spirit. I feel like the Grinch right now. Like, I'm just so over all of it. Hey, guys. So, I'm fine now. Like, I'm perfectly fine. Sorry for my outburst earlier. Um, it just, I just needed a quick moment to vent. And honestly, y'all are like my personal visual diary, if you will. But I'm good now. I'm fine. Y'all are probably looking at me like chick, you is bipolar. But I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Um, so I just called Thomas back and told him that he might as well just cancel the room. And we'll just try to do it another day. That way, you know, our little family vacation can actually be a family vacation and not just a mother and son vacation. So that's that. He replied okay. So um, I'm actually on my way now to the boys' school to pick them up. And then I just figure we'll go to... Um, 
Target and get like some, um, what are those things called? Gingerbread houses. We'll get some of those so that at least over this 30 day period we'll have something to do. And maybe go to Dollar Tree to get like some other little crafts and stuff so that they'll be occupied and not just watch TV all day. Come on, car. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, but yeah, that is the current state of things now. I haven't been to Target in a minute. And I am going to thoroughly enjoy it. Hopefully the boys will come out of school like they got some sense. And we can just get into Target, browse a little bit and then come back home. Because if you're not buying them nothing, they just turn into typical men. Like, how long we got to be in this store? Why do we got to keep going through all these aisles? Like, I don't feel like hearing that. Like, let me browse a little bit. I might decide that there is something else that I didn't know I needed and I want to buy. Like, patience is a virtue. Okay, but I want you to hear me and hear me good. When we get in this store... Don't ask for a thing. Santa has already made your presents. They're already on the sleigh. They're on their way. You don't need anything from in the store. You're not hungry. You're not thirsty. We have all that at home. Am I understood? Yes. Thank you so much. Theo, I didn't hear you. Am I understood? Don't ask for a thing. bust they were all out of gingerbread houses we asked well tom tom went and asked one of the store workers and they were like oh that's surprising because we had so many but we're all out so um i guess we're going to try walmart maybe before we head in the house like it? and then i guess we can stop by the commissary once we get on base because I kind of wanted to make some um, chicken and dumpling soup. So, I need to go get some stuff from the commissary. And I know in our German section of the commissary, they sell like the um, dumplings like that you can like, they're already in the boil bag and you just drop them in the water. So, I'm going to go get those. Plus, I need some diced vegetables and stuff to add to the soup. So. We just got back in the house and I'm going to show you guys what we got. Walmart actually did have the gingerbread houses. We had to hunt for it a little bit, but they did have it. But just let me show you guys what we got. Okay, so here we are. Here are the gingerbread houses. Got two of them to do our usual competition. And then for the chicken soup that I want to make, got vegetables, got celery, 
And then I got some salad for myself with my salsa because I just ran out. Chicken broth. And then I got a rotisserie chicken to put in the chicken soup. So it smells really good. But it is the family size garlic flavored rotisserie chicken. And then going this way, this is Target over here. All of this. <laughs> but I got myself some more socks because I don't know where my socks go, but they have dwindled down to like five pairs. So I had to get myself some more socks. And then I got these cookie cutters. And these are the gnome cookie cutters, even though it doesn't really look like it. But I mean, the only reason I know that it's a gnome is because it had like a little picture underneath all of the cookie cutters. So yeah, it's a gnome. I guess you're supposed to like decorate it and stuff to make it look like what it's supposed to be. But ain't nobody got time for that. So I got two of them so the boys can do some stuff. Then I got some chocolate chip cookie dough mix so that me and the boys can make some cookies. And then I got this mug. Saw it as we were walking out of Target. And I must say, this is my new favorite mug. And I know I say that all of my mugs are my favorite mug. But I really mean it about this one. Because it speaks to me on a spiritual level that none of the other ones do. It says parenting style, survivalist. And if that isn't the God honest truth, I don't know what is. So... Now that you guys have seen everything that I got while we went out to the store. Okay, so now I'm going to put everything away. Um, except I'm going to start cutting up the celery and throw the vegetables into the crock pot with the broth to try to get everything done by dinner time because I really want some soup. you out of my mind it's like i feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night i've been searching for this all my life you're just my type i've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but your dark hair with those eyes so bright they look into my soul and it sparks my life can i take you there like it was the first time do you remember can i take you there to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? So in other news, um, chicken soup is still cooking. Uh, what else is I about to say? Oh, I emailed the, um, I don't even know what the woman's job title is, but like she handles the schedules at my job and I just emailed her, let her know the situation of what was happening. And so hopefully she'll be able to work with me. Um, it's like I was just saying, like, you know, explain what this, the boys don't go back to school till the 18th. And then what my husband's schedule was and just trying to make it to where we didn't overlap with our work schedules. That way somebody was always home with our boys. And it wasn't like I was saying I'm not coming to work. Just when she was making up the schedule, could she give me, like, more weekend shifts than, like, all the days. Like, and the days that she does give me during the week and it'd be, like after like the afternoon shift until close like 
closing isn't my favorite, but I'll close. Like, so afternoon till close and then the weekends, which a lot of people want their weekends to themselves. So I'm taking, biting the bullet here and saying, give me all the weekends. I'll take the weekends. So hopefully that'll work. But yeah, I feel like that's kind of the best that can happen at this time because I don't know what else there is to do. Can I take you there?